I think they're trying to have a socialist rally at my school, and it's not going well. I only have one more class today, but I am really not feeling it. <sighs> really weird thing I've seen on my campus lately is every time I go into a bathroom, someone is in there laboring over a dump, like breathing really heavy, like... I almost called 911 on a guy that was just in the bathroom I was in. I know it's disgusting, but I'm worried. I am Marilyn Maylin Chin. Oh, how I love the resoluteness of that first person singular, followed by that stalwart indicative of me, without that uncertain ING. Of course, the name had been changed somewhere between Angel Island and the sea, when my father, the paper son, the late 1950s, obsessed with the bombshell blonde, transliterated Maylin to Marilyn. And nobody dared question his initial impulse. We all know lusty to greatness, not goodness, not decency. And there I was, a wayward pink baby, named after some tragic white woman, swollen with gin and empty talk. My mother couldn't pronounce the R, she dubbed me number one female offshoot, but for gravity, henceforth she will live and die in sublime ignorance, flanked by loving children, the kitchen deity. My father dither, a top cat Hong Kong trash, a gambler, a petty thug, by chain of chop suey joints from Piss River, Oregon, for booklet, Gucci, cash. Nobody dare question his integrity, given his nice, devout daughters, his white industrial sons, as if filial piety were the standard by which all earthly men were measured. Oh, how trustworthy our daughters, how thrifty our sons, how we managed to prove the expert certification statistics. And demography were not very creative, but not adverse to rope burning. Rope learning, rope learning. Indeed, they can use us, but the model minority is a tease. We know you are watching now and we refuse to give you any. Oh, bamboo shoots, bamboo shoots, the further west we go, we'll hit east. The deeper down we dig, we'll find China. History has turned stomach on a black moon beach, but life doesn't hinge on that red, red wheelbarrow. But whether or not a new lover in that final episode of Santa Barbara will lean over and set the piano and call us a bitch. Oh Lord, where have we gone wrong? We have no inner resources. Then one redolent spring morning, the great patriarch Chin peered down from his kiosk in heaven and saw that his descendants were ugly. One had a squarish head and a nose without a bridge. Another's profile, long and knobbed, was a gourd. A third, the sad, brutish one, may never, never marry. And I, his least favorite, not quite boiled, not quite cooked, a plump pompered simmering in my juices. Too listless to fight for my people's destiny. To kill without resistance is not slaughter, said the proverb. So I wait for imminent death. The fact that this death is also metaphorical is testament to my lethargy. So here lies Marilyn Maylin Chin, married once, twice or so and so, a Lee and a Wong, doctor with virtuous Yurkwin Wong and Kiji Chin, the infamous, sister of a dozen, cousin of a million, survived by everybody and forgotten by all. She was neither black nor white, neither cherished nor vanquished, just a nurse squat in her own bamboo grove, reminding of poetry. When one day heaven was so merciful, that chasm opened where she stood, like the jaws of a mighty white whale, or the maw of the Mexican Godzilla, it swallowed her whole. She not flinch, nor writhe, nor fret about the afterlife, but stay, solid as wood, happily, though gnawed, tattered, mesmerized by all that was lavished upon her, and all that was taken away. Don't let diabetes win. Well, I'm drunk if you're doing it right. A couple things. First of all, that um, those flyers just make me laugh every time because I like how colleges get all worried about people when really they don't care at all. Um, secondly, that poet you just saw was a lady named Marilyn Chin. She's sort of a hero in the poetry world. And also, tomorrow's the last day of Vita. I have a really hard time believing that. It's like, I can't believe I got this far. Like, I honestly thought I would quit halfway through. Glad I didn't. And now I'm home. It's always time for water. Always. Once again, the Wi-Fi isn't working and I have homework due. And now I'm in Target at 11.15 at night, because why not? 
this no carb diet is sort of kicking my ass right now because I'm looking for fucking healthy food and it sucks. Well, that's the end of my night, guys. Tomorrow's the last day of Vita. That's a weird thought. Oh well. Um, please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And uh, if not, I understand, but please do. And uh, yeah, that's all. Good night, guys.